What's up YouTube? Zenny coming at you today and guess who we have in the house today? Today, as you guys can see, if you look right over here, we have Little Bug in the house today. A 2019 Macan S right here. And just to get started today, a quick little disclaimer, what we're going to be doing today. And I apologize once again to you guys. I was off for the past two days, Sunday and Monday. I know I promised you guys I'm going to be uploading daily. I had a little bug or something going on. But anyways, we're going to be doing a quick exterior walk around and a brief interior in-depth review of the 2019 Macan. And before we start off with the front of the vehicle, guys, I'm going to show you guys right from the window sticker that this is the 2019 Macan Sport right here. As you guys can see, and also this vehicle has, in case you're wondering, right here, this vehicle has 348 horsepower and 356 pound-feet of torque. So leading class in its class in terms of power and performance. So as you guys can see right here, 2019 Macan Sport. This vehicle is 70,970 is the MSRP. And if you hop over to the front real quick, guys, I'm going to show you guys this vehicle is equipped with PDLS, the Porsche Dynamic Lighting System, right here. And stay right there for a moment. I'm going to pop the bonnet real quick. Show you guys what's underneath that hood. That 3 liter V6 turbocharged. Now, one of the cool things just to point out with the 2019 Macan is that the front of this vehicle, the hood goes over the headlamp. So it looks like the headlamps are still attached to the vehicle, essentially. You guys just see what I'm talking about. You see how there's indentations right there in the hood that go over the headlamps, which is really, really cute. That 3 liter V6, that turbocharged right here. So real quick guys, I'm going to show you a quick exterior walk around all the way of the 2019 Macan Sport right here. Absolutely beautiful view. And also something I want to point out also as well, as you guys can see right here, in case you're wondering size comparison, what are some of the competitors? I would say Cadillac XT5 or Lexus NX, you know, some, somewhere in, in that category, you know. As you can see, it's a sport utility compact vehicle. So. I'm going to go show you guys real quick the boot space real quick. What's inside the trunk, whatever you guys call it, however you guys like to say it. So, if you guys need additional storage space, seats, the rear seats easily, easily fold down so you have twice as much cargo space. There you go. So, put a small Christmas tree wherever you need to do, jet skis. You know, go hiking, uh, a massive load of uh, luggages to take to the airport and traveling, you know, things like that. So with that being said, let's hop over to the rear of the cabin real quick. Put some little lights on. So as you guys can see right quick, ample amount of room here. I'm five foot six right here. I fit perfectly fine in the back seat, the back seat right here. You have two USB ports right there, fast charging, heated seats. The passengers can control the uh, temperature right here. So you have center console ventilation that comes to you guys. Also moonroof that goes from the front all the way to the back. So, also, something I want to point out, guys, you have 255s in the rear and 235s in the front tire size, 19s all the way around, in case you guys are wondering. So, let's hop over in the inside, guys. Check it right. Jet black, jet black metallic, too, also, just in case you guys are wondering. So, in terms of you guys who are going to be driving the Macan Sport for a family vehicle on a daily basis, safety features is got it all. Forward collision, blind spot monitoring, lane assist, rear cross traffic alert, absolutely every safety feature possible you can possibly think of. In case you guys are wondering, going to be driving this vehicle on a daily basis, the Macan is by far a fuel efficient vehicle. It is an absolute blast to drive on a daily basis. Whatever your lifestyle you live, professional, business, casual, 
you know, outdoors, whatever type of lifestyle you live, the Macan Sport can fit almost any type of lifestyle, honestly. So, turn the power on real quick. So you guys see electronic power folding mirrors. Let's turn down the AC for a minute. Dual climate control, heated and ventilated seats also. So you guys can see right here, Porsche does allow VU, their vehicles to go off-road, so that's for, so that's what this button is for. If you want to go over rocks, drive it in sand, you know, there's not too many places you can drive a Porsche on the beach out here, but there's that off-road button. You can also, and I want to point this out to something that a lot of people don't like is auto start stop. Easily. With the press of a button that's located right here, you can turn it off. So all you got to do is that. If you don't like auto start stop, you're good to go. You're golden. So real quick, as you can see right here, that's in the Panamera, you know, the Cayenne, as you guys can see right here, the new updated Porsche PCM from 18 to 19, it's when it changed. They changed the exterior of the body style on the Macan, and also they updated the infotainment. So in the Cayenne, the Panamera, and even the new 992, 911, it's all, they're all the same. So I'm going to be doing a separate review, specifically alone on the PCM system, because there's absolutely so much to go over, and I want to go over it in very detail with you guys, inside and out. So enough about that. Like I said, dual climate control, all safety features, heated and ventilated seats, and these paddle shifters right here aren't plastic. They're metal, so you got your Porsche Dynamic Driving Mode selected right here on the steering wheel, as you can see right there in the, like in the 911 and the Panamera, which is right there. So as you can see right there, massive tachometer in the center stack, your speedometer to your left, and your infotainment settings right here, where you can go TPS, trip info, navigation, things like that, you know, things that'll make you happy on a daily basis. So as you can see, as you guys already know, so I just want to point that out. Look at that amount of space right there inside the center council. You know, you could put you could put a bunch of stuff in there. I'm just saying though, okay? So glove box, one of the most important parts of the vehicle, has it right there. Boom. Bose premium sound system. As you guys already know, you saw in my previous video. Absolutely ridiculous. The sound system that that Porsche uses, the Bose and the Burmeister, are absolutely phenomenal. By far some of the best sound systems out of any vehicle in the world. So with that being said, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments, drop a comment down below, like, subscribe, and you know. So I wanted to do a brief exterior walk around and a small in-depth review of the 2019 Macan. So I wanted to kind of get hands on with it a little bit in front of you guys because I know you guys are going to ask me some specific questions and especially you guys that are part of my Macan club who are coming from a 17 or 18. Some of the biggest key differences, though, are going to be as far as the inside coming from a from a from a 19 to like an 18 or 17. Like I said, you're not going to notice a dramatic difference, but this is the heart of it right here: is a new infotainment system. It is massive compared to last year's, and it is light years ahead in terms of technology. Gas mileage, because I know you guys are going to ask this: 20 by 23, city versus highway. You know. It's an absolute dream. It's a joy to drive on a daily basis. You know, you can drive this vehicle with a whole for a whole week or two weeks and not have to or two weeks and not have to worry about filling it up. It is it's just amazing on gas. And also, if you step down to the base model, you do have an optional two liter four cylinder. But if you want that extra power, that extra performance, go for one that has the six. And that's it. So pretty much guys, I wanted to show you some of the key core concepts you know, of the vehicle, of the 2019 Macan Sport. And I wanted to let you guys know that it's just, I'm going to be doing getting hands-on on the road once I get a GoPro. I'm going to be doing driving sessions with the cars. So I just wanted to let you guys know I'm going to be doing driving footage of what it's like driving the vehicles. In case you guys are wondering, want to see what it's like to drive it first before you guys make a trip or decide, hey, you know what? But I just want to point out, I would highly recommend coming or going to your local Porsche dealership and test driving one yourself. You have to. So that's pretty much it for the 2019 Macan Sport today, guys. We got hands-on with it a little bit. Showed you guys it. Especially you guys, you current Macan owners right there who own a previous body, a previous year model or year models, however you guys want to say it. So I just wanted to show you guys, get you guys a little bit hands-on with it, you know, virtually. Give you guys a small tour. And that's pretty much it, guys. 
like, comment, subscribe, help this YouTube channel grow, share it with your family, friends, you know, um, and that's pretty much it, guys. And tomorrow, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing another review tomorrow on the new 2020 Cayenne e-hybrid tomorrow. So stay tuned, guys. If you guys haven't checked out any of my other previous videos, check them out. Help this YouTube channel grow. Like, comment, subscribe. Zenny out. Have a good day, guys, and don't text and drive. Cheers.